welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it's Sunday here. It's been really smoky. Um, the smoke's been blowing in from the fires that are out east, so we haven't really done very much. We were actually supposed to go show today, but because of the smoke, we figured it would be safer for us to just not go. So I have some clips of my ride from yesterday where basically the AQI the air quality index was around 130, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups. So we basically just did walk trot work. So I have a little clips from that. And then I gave Happy a bath yesterday. And I'm going to probably ride in the big indoor today because we haven't ridden in there since winter. And I thought, you know, we were supposed to do something different today because we were supposed to go show. So I'm going to go ride in there by myself. And he was a little squirrely in there during the winter time, especially alone. I had a really hard time riding alone in there. So I think it'll be good. I think it'll be really good for both of us. So hopefully the Pivo tracks me all right in there. And sorry, I thought there was a bug on my arm and I can get some good footage of us riding today. It'll just be a flat work day for us um, because yesterday the air quality was so bad and today it's not so bad because it's foggy as you can see, but I'm sure as the day heats up, the smoke will come in because I think the fog's probably pulling the smoke out of the air a little bit. So we'll just do an easy flat work ride in there and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It'll just be a regular little barn vlog, barn vlog with smoke, technically. So, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy.
All right, I think you might want to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to lift this up. And if he bit at it, I would have taken it out of his space. But today he didn't. He knew I was filming. He still has a little bit of bidding anxiety. But we're working through it, huh? Yeah. All right, as you saw, we worked a little bit, worked a little bit on his bidding anxiety. He's gotten obviously much better because before he used to like grab the thing and like, it was a lot, but I just kind of stopped working on it because it got like, I don't know, 60 to 70% better. And that was good enough for me. But then it's kind of come back a little bit. So I've decided that we should probably work a little bit more on it, even though I'm like, not really wanting to work on it because it takes time to bridle him when I have to wait until he's relaxed and stops grabbing at the bridle. So that was what we were doing. Basically, I don't know if you could see in the video, hopefully you can. I basically would put the bridle up to his face and if he went to grab anything, I would just pull it away and kind of rub the bottom of his chin to encourage him to relax and be present. And it worked. So after about, I think it was three or four times, he basically let me put it on and he was relaxed and he's pretty chilled now. So I'm about to get on and then we're gonna ride over to the indoor arena. So I just wanted to get on from here. Okay, let's not investigate the farm. We haven't been over on this side in a long time. Oh my god, he's so he's so alive. <sighs> okay. I don't know if I'll keep the audio in here, but if I do, we just had a pretty major spook back there. I don't know at what though. I think he just worked himself up in his own little head. We're going straight into the arena. There's no one over here. We're gonna go in. Yeah, oh my goodness. So scary. So scary. Here we are. 
All right, take me to where I want to do the videoing. It's so deep in here. Oh my God, I forgot how deep it was. Okay, oh. He was such a good boy. I don't know if the people caught it, but he did bolt, I think, twice. But it was very good, because I felt like we could keep him basically mostly under threshold, and I could work through my own personal anxiety of riding him when he's up, 
and get him to a point where he could relax and do good work, which is really what we need to work on so that when we go to horse shows, he knows that he can go forward as opposed to stopping. We did not have any stopping today whatsoever. He was very forward and ready to go. So I feel like this kind of work and right, we've been riding with some horses that I feel like are a little bit more anxious or have a little bit more presence um, in the arena. So that's also been helpful. But yeah, we're gonna finish here. I'm gonna untack and I'll probably, I don't think I'll bathe them because I think it's still pretty, I don't think he sweat that much. And then we'll be done. So see you when I get off. Fix your lower leg and your horse won't be hairless. He liked the tiger's tongue, huh? Yeah. Get this off. Okay. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna leave you here. The smoke's rolling in now that the fog is gone, and I'm gonna head out. I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, Hope you enjoyed the clips from yesterday, me working on shoulder and bareback, and then some of the riding clips for today. The people wasn't the best in the indoor, but I think it did as best as it could. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new things. I'm trying to be more regular on Sundays like I used to be, but life's been a little crazy. So I've been a little less regular with the updates and vlogs and everything. So if you hit the notification bell, you'll know when I've posted something. So thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.